I gotta make a tutorial. What's up everybody, it's Peter McKinnon here. Sorry, that's an intro for a different channel that I run. Alright, let's get into this new feature of ours. Let's imagine a scenario where our users have the ability to leave comments under a video or a blog or something. Comment 1, comment 2, so on and so forth, right? The workflow for this looks like this. First, create a test comment, reset relevant inputs, and set focus on input comment. Now imagine a scenario where I want to check if the comment goes against the policies, whether it's a hate speech or some violent text, so on and so forth. Let's implement this. So I went ahead and integrated OpenAI's moderation endpoint. This allows me to check the text against the OpenAI's content policy. On the front end, I just added the pop-up policy. This will be shown when the comment goes against the policy. So what I'm going to add here is show an element, pop up policy, and I'm going to add a custom state, oh sorry, a custom event. Parameter will be PRM text, it's going to be just a text, and we're going to is valid yes or no and obviously this is the beauty of uh, return value that you can return the data types you can return option sets anything in this specific case I'm going to use yes or no because I want to kind of discuss the pretty simple use case and I'm going to go to plugins open AI, moderate text. This is going to be parameter text, formatted as JSON safe. And I'm going to return data. Is valid is yes. When result of step one returns an error is no. And result of step ones, bodies, first items flagged is no. So if it's not flagged, it is valid. Okay, and then I'm going to return the data. If it is yes, I'm going to say no. Oops. No. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna trigger a custom event, input comments value, and I'm gonna push this to be step one. So now we're gonna create the new comment only when result of step ones is valid is yes. And if result of step ones is valid is no, then we're going to show the pop-up. I think we're ready to preview the application. Right. Nice comment. All right, nice comment went there. And I'll show you all right now. Sorry, the comment goes against policy. That's pretty cool. This is it. This is how you use return value of a custom event. And now let me go home. Please don't forget to subscribe, give a like, leave a comment below, and let me know if there is anything else you want me to make a video about. Mostly, please request AI integrations because that's what I want to focus on for nearest future.